Good evening, guys. Sorry about the glare. I, I, ain't, I ain't got this thing right. Hold on. Let me get this off. All I'm, I'm wanting to say is that um, there's nothing perfect here. I do appreciate you guys' prayers. And, you know, um, the grace of God is just, I'm so thankful for that. I can never repay that. And, and there's times I, I come in fear and trembling, meaning I, I really do get scared just saying anything about it. But I just know that even though it's been said over and over and, you know, it seems like a broken record, I know to some, but to me it just, um, I remind myself every day just how thankful uh, what God's done for me by the grace of God, just believing simply, believing in what he did at the cross for me. Um, that's the most powerful thing that man has ever seen. I mean, when you are down and out, when everything, you know, I'm not perfect here, but I'm telling you, when everything is just not, you got an anchor. You actually, you absolutely have a foundation that you can lean hard on. And when Christ uh, promises a, a eternal life to everyone that believes on him, you know, it, that's, I mean, I've run back to that. I hold fast to that. I know that, you know, I'm not perfect, but man, thank you for salvation, Lord. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it, man. And it, the story never gets old. The, 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 what he did for me, it never gets old. And um, I have to check myself at times. I get ahead of myself and thinking, all right, I know some Bible scripture. I know I've been growing. But then going back to the basics, the foundation of this whole thing comes down to what he did at the cross, always does. And it just it amazes me, the simplicity and the beauty of it, how God um, orchestrated this, orchestrated it to make it that a man... All God does require is that a man believe that he is a sinner. He knows that he's a sinner, that he needs a Savior. And that through his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, he provided something. And we have no idea of the holiness of God. And that's another thing. Uh, the guys, I'm telling you, we, we are really, really, <laughs> we're off base. We have no idea how holy God is. It just it's it's a feudal and and just it's despicable how people think they could really it's a slap in God's face to think you can do anything to earn salvation. There's nothing that you can do but just be a humble. I mean, you're you're really just I just I just accept it. That's faith. I accept God. What you did is enough. It's enough. I accept it, Lord. I mean, I can't say myself. There's nothing I can do. You know, that's faith. We don't. We realize that we are. We're broken. We're completely, utterly broken before God. God sees us and goes, "Man, you got it bad. You got it bad. I mean, we all got cancer. All of us do." We got cancer in the spiritual sense. We are doomed. We have death on our back. We are marked, if you will. We're marked. But God, through his grace, sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him hath everlasting life. And, and to everyone, whoever, so, whoever will, let him come, drink freely. God said, come, drink freely. The, from the manual's vein, I mean, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is advantageous. It's fantastic. It covers all sin. I don't care past, present, and future. When you believe on that Jesus, the one that died for your sins, the sinner, let who, whosoever will, let him come. That Jesus to die for your sins. God in the flesh. 
who came down and walked amongst men. Walked among men. God did this. And he suffered for us in his flesh. God's blood covers our sins. And it's advantageous. It's forever. It's sealed. Once you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, what he did for you, and he proved that he is who he said he is. For our justification, he rose again. Firstborn. I mean, the first risen from the dead, the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, he rose. You know, we know that he, but he is the resurrection, and he is the resurrection and the life. Excuse my, uh, but yeah, he, he did it. He took care of it. And so all we must do, it, there's where every man must believe to be saved is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. What he did, his finished work. Amen. But God bless you. It's about, um, I ain't going to say what time it is. Y'all know I work uh, a night job, but I'm so thankful to share the gospel. every day. And it never gets old. If it gets old, friend, check yourself. I'm just telling you, there's always something to be thankful for every day. And, and, and when life gets hard and really gets the grind hits you and the rubber meets the road, when well, you're down out, if you failed and people around you failed you and everything just seems like falling down, it's a bad day. It's a bad day. You know what I'm saying? You had a bad day. Guess what? He's got your back. He's got your back. He will not fail you. He's always with you. Forever he'll be with you. He will never fail you. Now you can choose to grow in Christ and grow and grow and renew your mind. Be a true disciple of Christ. I pray for that all the time myself. But Lord, help me to be a true disciple. I know I failed. Lord, please help me. I I I know I failed, man, but you know what? I Lord I don't see the future. We don't see the future. I don't see the future. But God, give me a heart of repentance. Give me a heart of a true disciple. Give me a heart to panic after, after thee. Give me a heart to panic. That's what I want. I, know, I hope that's what you want too. Salvation's free, but discipleship does cost. It really does. But there's God's graceful and he's patient. He's long-suffering, especially to his children. You know, never put yourself down. Get, get back on your feet. If you mess up, you know what? Brush off. That's what he wants. He's not beating you up today. He's not angry with your downfalls. He just, the, the ticket is, you know what it is? Understand, renew your mind with who you are, the new man, the new man within. Paul went through that in, in chapter 7 of, of Romans. Read it. Read chapter 7 of Romans. He explains it. It's a growth period Paul's going through. All right. But anyway, God bless you. I hope you have a good, a good day, guys. Um, I think I'm going to hit the hay. But I, I appreciate you guys, and thank you for your patience with me. I do. And... Um, May God's grace be with you richly today. Grow in his grace richly. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you.